Hello everyone, welcome to LifeCast. We're making very simple, what that is? Squash. Butternut squash. Yes. Soup. Love it. Right here, Max, come look. A cup of celery and a cup of carrots. Just doing their thing, getting, ah. Soft. Not too soft, just developing a little flavor. That's what it's all about. We're gonna add a clove of garlic. These have been in here about three, four minutes. Onion, cup of onion, cup of celery. Simple, right? Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's throw in a clove of garlic, decent size. Yeah, somebody asked me in a in a uh, email or something recently. Because I use garlic on a regular basis, why don't I just buy the gar the jar of already peeled garlic? Peeled, mashed, diced, whatever. I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. No, it's fresh. I, you know what? I used it once for an event, or I started to, and I opened it up. I, I know I've said this before, but I opened it up and I smelled it, and I went, wow, there's an extra smell in there that I don't really dig and I don't want. And I put it off to the side, and I went and I bought fresh garlic. I don't think there's anything like fresh garlic. Okay, so now we take this butternut squash and look it. We just dump it in. I'm going to tell you something. You're going to go like this. Well, wait a second, Sam. If, if you're espousing the virtues of fresh garlic, why would you be buying bag squash? I'm going to tell you. Because getting this to look like that is a huge pain in the ass. Yeah. Huge. You can do it. Be my guest. Do what you want. I know it looks like cantaloupe, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is kind of gross thinking about that being cantaloupe. Okay, so just a little toss in this. The garlic, the onion, the celery. We'll let that just do its thing there. Let me get some broth. Rice noodles. So we need about three and a half cups. This is four. This is a 32 ounce box. We'll just we'll put in enough to cover, which is about three and a half ish. Now, now there's really nothing to do but wait. Come back when it's boiling? Come back when it's boiling. I direct your attention here. It's just a pot of boiling uh, cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cantaloupe, man. Which would be disgusting. Turn it down to a simmer. Ready? Ready. That's it. Simple. 30 minutes. We'll come back. The squash will be soft, it'll thickened a little bit, and then we'll use our immersion blend. There's a bad hand motion. <laughs> then we'll use our immersion blender to make it thick and add season and make it better and blah, blah, blah. See you just in a second. All right, so the, you're not backing up fast enough. So the, uh, the, the, uh, the butternut squash is close, it's five minutes away. So we're going to make a couple things to put on top, and this is very simple, very simple. We melt some butter in a little nonstick pan. Well, I don't need probably all of that, but now that it's there, I'm going to use it. And some panko breadcrumbs, right? We know panko. If you don't, Japanese breadcrumbs, right? Lighter, crunchier, wispier. So we just want to give them a little color and a little extra flavor from the butter. Cool? Cool. Cool. All right, well, that's happening. Take a look in here, Maxwell. Oh, shit, that's hot. Oh. Boom, look at that. Nice. Nice, soft. Wait, where's my thing? Take a look. Beautiful. And if you look like this, look. Oh yeah. See it squish? Oh yeah. 
so you know it's ready. So look, you could use uh, almost anything to make that happen, but we're going to use this thing. Uh-oh. Way too much technology in there. We're going to use a hand blender. Also known as an immersion blender. Also known as an immersion blender. So we plug it in. I don't need this on anymore. And we just do this. It's going to splash. No, it's not going to splash. Come down here. Trust me. Do you I'm trust scared. me? Just go. No, no, no. no. I, I want you to. Do you trust I me? I trust you. I'm going to go down here. Ready? Okay. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Look. I gotta stop. Hold on. I gotta stop because I've got this going on over here. The butter breadcrumbs. The butter panko. Just you just want the butter to be in and around all of it. Nice. No, just. Let it just start to do its thing, get a little a little crispier and a little more color. Okay, so you see, that's what I want. I want a little bit of golden brownness on that. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off, and I'll just leave that. That's set. And it thickens beautifully. I'm telling you, these things are really amazing. And then watch, you just go like this. Boop. Out comes this. Goes in the sink, get rid of this, put it over here. Everybody's good. Now, what's wrong with this at this point, Max? Mm, needs a little more heat? No. Well, I'm putting some heat on. It needs to be seasoned. It has no mm. seasoning, right? So it's pretty, it's pretty bland right now. So we're gonna give it a good hit of salt. Of course, we're gonna give it fresh ground pepper because we love that. I'm gonna give it just a little garlic powder, which it already has a little. Oh, Maybe I won't. Why does this happen to me? How is this possible? Every day. Oh, look, it was right there. <laughs> Shit. Just a little extra. Beautiful consistency, right? Oh yeah. You could throw turkey in here, you could throw chicken in here. You could throw almost anything in this. Let's just grab a spoon and taste it. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. Okay, and we're gonna help it by doing this, uh, shall we? We're gonna take a little in a bowl. Nope. Yep. Now we go like this. Look how silky that is. Oh yeah. Right? Silky and gorgeous. Now it gets a little bit of this. Look, this could be anything. It could be thyme. It could be rosemary. It could be sage if you wanted it to be. But it's going to get a little bit of both these things. And one. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit of that little crunchy, and then some of that. God, that looks good, huh? Okay, I just had an idea. I had an idea, I had an idea. Nobody move. Hmm. I want to put a little smoked paprika on the top. 
There we go. Okay, I think the uh, chili, sorry. I think the smoked paprika was a really good call because it certainly is from here. Wow. Of course, look, the panko is not like putting bread, um, like croutons in here, but the little crunch that it gives, it's really good. It's really good. Mm -mm. I blew some over the edge. All right. Mm. No cream, nothing fattening, really just vegetables stock and you're done. You can eat like a shit ton of that. Oops. You can eat a lot of that. All right. Thanks for being here. Don't eat the same thing all the time. Make that really easy. Chop one of these guys up if you want or just use the packages like I did. Either way, you're going to be really happy.